Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog today. It's Friday morning. I just took Christian to the airport. I got back like an hour ago. Started getting ready for work. So I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog today, carry it into tomorrow, and then potentially start a new vlog on Sunday just to try and get a little bit more content filmed for YouTube. I've actually been posting every single day on TikTok for almost two weeks, which is kind of crazy. I've been having like a ton of fun filming content for over there. So definitely follow me on TikTok. I'm probably not gonna post every single day, but I'm trying to post as frequently as possible just to, I'm just having a lot of fun over there. I don't know, it's like, I feel very creative over there right now. I don't know what it is, but still love YouTube, obviously. But definitely follow me over there, get a little bit different of content, that's for sure. Christian finally got his new car last night. If you guys have been following me since like August or, September? I'm trying to think when it was. I think it was August or September of last year. Christian Custom built a 2023 Mercedes C300 and it finally came in yesterday and he picked it up yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was just crazy. We were up late. He was showing me everything on his new car and we got up really early. Well, it was only an hour earlier for me. I got up at five to take him to the airport. So it wasn't like super early or like inconvenient or anything, but he's like so excited. I'm gonna insert a clip right here that I took last night. I just took it on my phone and um, insert it right here. It's so nice. I'm so excited for him. I'm so proud of him. This is just such a big step for him. Such a nice car. I'm just like incredibly proud of him for purchasing this car. So I'm gonna insert that footage right here. But yeah, he's so excited to have that car. And um, yeah, I'm so happy for him. So it's Friday, it's work day. My boss is actually not in the office. He wasn't in the office yesterday or today. So no 8 a.m. meeting this morning. We had the meeting on Wednesday, but it's Friday. I'm so glad I actually have my six month review on Tuesday. So I'm kind of nervous for that, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm obviously doing a good job, like I'm really reliable, trustworthy employee, but you know, it's just kind of like intimidating, scary, just like sitting across from your boss and yeah, it's just, just say a prayer. By the time this video is up, it will have already happened, but those things are kind of just scary. So anyways, I'm ready a little bit early today and I'm just so excited that it's Friday. I self tanned last night. I deep cleaned the apartment last night, just kind of like worn out, but it was time to like deep clean and everything like that. So I feel nice. My self tan hasn't developed yet. It usually develops. It's funny, I'll like get to work and it won't be like fully developed by the time I get to work. And then throughout the day, like I'll go into the bathroom at like 12 and I'll be like, whoa, I look so much tanner. Like it develops throughout the day at work, which is kind of funny. But it's, I don't think it's like fully developed right now. Just finishing up my coffee. I put it in like this to go cup. I got this cup. When I went to Austin, Texas, and I went to the Starbucks Reserve, which was my first Starbucks Reserve experience, and I saved the cup because it's like a heavy duty plastic cup. So I put my coffee in there so I could be awake for the drive to the airport, but because the airport's like 20, 25 ish minutes from me. Anyways, I'm gonna change and put together my lunch and head to work. I'm also filming a TikTok day in my life too. So I think I'm gonna do that like all weekend. I think I'm gonna film a TikTok day in my life today, tomorrow and Sunday. I mean, we'll see, we'll play it by ear. Um, I don't wanna like overdo it on myself. So I think it will be like a pretty okay work day. Usually Fridays are pretty like stressful, but I'm hoping that I'm not scrambling to try and get like a million things done. There's like nothing worse than doing that on a Friday. I just 
feel. Last Friday, it, it was just a mess of a day. I just was rushing to try and get everything done and it was just not a good day. So we're gonna make sure today is great and fantastic. And yeah, we're gonna have a great day. But I have chatted way too long, so I'm gonna change for work, put together my lunch and head out. Just got home from work. I deep cleaned the apartment yesterday and I ran out of things to clean it right when I finished. So picked up a Target order with more stuff for the Swiffer wet jet. And then I got more Method all-purpose cleaner. I know you guys don't really care, but I really do like this more than the Mrs. Myers. I heard the Mrs. Myers doesn't really clean and this does a better job at cleaning it and it's natural. Okay, I'm finally getting ready for the day. I'm putting on some makeup right now for really honestly no reason. I'm just like hanging out at the house today. I'm really taking advantage of this weekend. I'm not really doing much, which is good. I'm really glad to like have this weekend and be able to just not really do anything since Christian's out of town. I am hanging out with my two friends Taylor and Maya tonight because it's my five-year anniversary tomorrow with Christian and I just like wanted to do something with someone so I'm gonna hang out with them tonight and we're gonna just cook some like frozen pizzas and just like hang out so that's like one thing I'm doing tonight but nothing on the agenda for today it's 1 40 like it, it later in the day for sure. I did a voiceover for a TikTok and posted that from yesterday and I'm filming another TikTok today and probably tomorrow. So I've just kind of been doing that. I'm laying low today, literally just gonna sit on the couch for probably the rest of the afternoon until they come over. But I did want to say, because I haven't mentioned this, there's a hair on this. So I've been using this strengthening scalp massage oil from Golab Beauty. I don't know how to pronounce it. I originally found them on TikTok like months ago and I started to notice some thinning right around my hairline. And it's like kind of making me self-conscious that it's so thin right here. 
but I noticed some thinning of hair like all throughout here and just right here like I I have long hair I haven't brushed it out from the curls yet I'm just like letting them cool down but I have pretty long hair um, for it being so blonde and for me dyeing it for over 10 years I'd like to think that my hair is decently healthy for <laughs> me dyeing it all the time so I found this brand and she has like an Instagram and a TikTok and there's tons of like before and after photos for I think 90 days is when you start to see results and it helps with like hair growth and some of the before and afters there'll be like complete bald spots on people's heads and then you'll all of a sudden see this like hair growth after 90 days and they're submitted photos from people that use this. So I wanted to give it a try and see if it works. I've only been doing it for probably like three weeks now, so I can't really say much. Um, I'm just like doing it all right here and then I'll do it down my hairline. I don't really think I have a lot of thinning down my hairline, but I mostly notice it like all right here. So, and you leave it in for minimum an hour and then up to three hours so i left it in for like an hour and a half this morning and i do it every time i wash my hair because you're supposed to use it two to three times a week and i only wash my hair twice a week so i do it basically every time i wash my hair it says it's dermatologist tested i can link it down below if you guys are interested but there's like whole kits that you can buy and I use like my little scalp massager in the shower. I use it already, but I definitely focus it more on these areas. And then when I'm putting the oil in, I really focus it with my fingers to like produce the circulation right there. So we'll see, I did want to share because I've been using it for like a couple of weeks, but I'll definitely update you guys over the next couple of months because I'm gonna obviously wait like three months to say if it actually like works, if I notice anything, but I don't know. We're just, we're just trying it. So we'll see if it works. But I'm doing my makeup. I love this Charlotte Tilbury thing so much. I, can't, I really want to try the blushes, but I'm kind of on a no buy thing. So like the last thing I purchased was like the Skims little pink pajama set that I got. And like now I'm cutting it off because I go to Europe in four months and my i need to buy my flights for that we're gonna start like really planning the trip unless i like need something like shampoo you know what i'm saying like i'm only buying things that i need right now and like i'll maybe treat myself to something like or something small around my birthday my birthday's in june and yeah so i'm really being strict on myself and you guys are gonna come along on this journey. Like I'm being super strict, no buy. So we're doing that. And um, that pink skim set that I was talking about in my last vlog, it's actually coming in the mail today. So I'll show you guys. I think I'm gonna film an unboxing for TikTok. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. done so badly but I'm waiting I'm like pushing it as long as possible also I'm pushing it a little bit more because my birthday is in a couple weeks and I want to get it done closer to my birthday my birthday's in like a month so I'm getting my hair done in two weeks which will be the longest I've probably ever gone without getting my hair done it'll be like 15 weeks and I think the longest I've ever gone is like 12 but the Skims little set came in the mail. I just did an unboxing for TikTok. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so I don't know if I'm gonna post it or not, but yeah, did a little fun unboxing. Little pink shorts. This is like my last little splurge thing, 
but little pink shorts. These are so comfortable. I just did a Skims haul in my last video and I'm showing literally the same set. I'm obsessed with this set. If it doesn't tell you that I have it in multiple colors that I'm obsessed, but I'm such a person that if I like something and I like wear it a lot, I'll buy it in another color, you know, if anyone else is like that. So I wear an extra small in the bottoms and a small in the tank. So I thought this color would be so fun for spring and summer pink. And like I mentioned in the last video when I was doing the haul, you can wear these tank tops literally out and about. And But I wouldn't wear these out and about. I just maybe like with something like really long over top of it. But they're just super like they're thin. So maybe the black pair I'd wear out. But I'd make sure like the shirt is long enough to cover my butt. I'll link it down below if the color's still available. It might have sold out but... I mean, you can't go wrong with any single color. If I had to pick one color of this, I'd probably go with the gray. I love the gray set. I feel like it's so cute. I hear this said so many times, but gray is such like a comfy color. I don't know how to describe it. Like a gray hoodie, like gray sweatpants. It's like a comfy color. If that makes sense. I've heard it said before and I agree. Like it is a comfy color. So I'd probably pick the gray. But this pink is so fun for spring and summer. So I'll link it. Taylor and Maya are here. They brought me flowers for my five year anniversary with Christian. <laughs> so I'm gonna arrange them. I, I don't know if I'm gonna separate them because I have this face and then I also have this face. So maybe I'll put one of these in this face and then the rest in here. But they're so pretty. Tulips, carnations, and then baby's breath, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna arrange them. Mm -hmm. 